Hello, welcome to your workout today. What I want to do is I just want to go play. I just want to play in the playground. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it in sitting. Uh, today's stressors for people, I guess they have nothing else to do. Most poor people in the bakery, uh, they're coming in, you know, as customers, and they are working so hard on decisions. I just want to yell, it's just cake, eat it. I have even offered to take some bites out of it for them just to get them to laugh a little. So let's just play. Uh, come and enjoy. I have a whole bunch of interesting stuff. The fact that people are coming in today and wanting freshly baked cakes for tomorrow, uh, that's a little tough. That adds stress to everybody. <laughs> but then the fact that they don't know what to write, just write a happy birthday. Hey, let's sit up nice and tall. Stay away from the back of the chair. Knee, ankles and feet are under knees. Knees and hips are level or put your hips up a little higher. Belly button into spine. The parts that are resting on that chair that you know could be lifted, we're gonna lift them up. We're gonna call them your elevator. I'll be cueing you to remember to put lift your elevator, right? Let's pull our shoulders up to our ears, down or, or behind us, and then straight down. Hold it there. You should probably, if you're like me, feel a killer stretch right here. We just want a gentle one, not a killer. Take your chin that's probably jutted forward. Pretend that you're sliding it back on a table so that you can get closer to your ears over your shoulders, shoulders over hips. And try to smile and breathe at me, huh? So aren't we just looking lovely? Staying in this position, inhale, lift your arms up. And exhale, keep your shoulders away from your ears. Chin is tucked back, inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Remember, this is your workout. Go faster, easier. Just remember breathing, postures number one. And back. Let's bring it arm up and up. As I'm doing this, I'm trying to elongate my spine, keeping my shoulders down and back, trying to keep my chin from going forward. Trying to get a little bit of stomach warm up. Thinking bam, bam, bam. If it's too much on your shoulders, you can keep them down. Do you remember, uh, what's the Sanford and Son? We're gonna walk like this. Let's walk like this a little. We're gonna lock in our shoulders down from our backs. Get some more motion. I'm going to try to rock myself a little bit higher off the seat, one, one side than the other. Try to incorporate a little bit more stomach side muscle work. Elevators lifted. We're going to get our arms going more, so watch your heart rate, watch your breathing, watch your posture. As you move your arms, don't allow them just to flop out of your shoulder joint. So we want them locked in. And let's go for a little arm swing. Elbows are bent, we're pretending that we're running. I'm starting to lift my heels, trying to add more of a running posture. If you are motivated to lift your legs all the way up and down, go for it. If you want to tap your toes instead of lifting your heels, go for it. It's your workout. Oh, this is that. This song is the suck inside your head. You want to go a little faster? Let's go up a little faster with our arms. I don't know yet if I'm ready to move my feet. Maybe so. We're doing just, a, I'm thinking like a gentle run out onto the field. Actually, we should slow down when they call you, remember when you were a kid and they called you back in your classroom how slow you walked? Because, oh, my favorite part of the day, first was lunch. Lunch always rocked it. And then it was going out to play. 
I was a good student too, but always being outside is more fun. Okay, hey, we're gonna change it in four, three, two, one. Let's get our jump ropes going. As we're jump roping forward, really force the shoulders open. So I'm kind of cheating. I've got my, whoops, belly into spine. See that arch? No, we don't want the arch. But I was thinking what I went to demonstrate was that my shoulders are back a little further. So I get that broadening of my chest wall muscles as I go backwards. But we don't want an arch in our back, we want it controlled. I'm just staying down low where I can control it. If you feel that you're able to go up higher, that's fine. I've also punched my cabinet enough times during these videos and I'm getting smarter. We're gonna change to going backwards in four, three, two, one. Let's start it going backwards. So this one I feel like I could bring in front and go more of a motion because the momentum's gonna pull my shoulders open. Belly to spine, elevator parts lifted. Let's change it in four, three, two, one. Hopefully you didn't punch as a kid. Actually, do you remember cat fights? We're just gonna punch. We want a little bit more heart rate. Oh, you know what? I'm turning it into that bicycle looking motion again. Obviously, I never had a fight. Scrawny people never fight. They get the big people to fight for them. Let's change in four, three, two, one. We're gonna play handball against each other. So let's just pick one side first. Leaning over, trying to keep the weight in the both hips, or both sides of your behind. This is not my tetherball competition with you. So don't be thinking so. I just want a trunk rotation. I wanna lean back a little to really pull in my trunk my strengthening into me, rather than doing 50 billion of the core exercises, I'd rather pretend that I'm playing racquetball with you. Wait till you see, I'm pretty good. I can play the same. I never miss the ball when I play racquetball here, <laughs> indoors, in my bathroom vanity. I can never miss the ball yet. No matter how hard you hit it at me, I can always hit it back. I challenge you. Let's change to the other side in four, three, two, one. <laughs> this one looks like I'm just hand slapping it. <laughs> Clearly this is my dominant hand. In tennis though, I always just swap the racket. So sometimes I play it as a lefty, sometimes as a right handed. It just depended on if I felt fast enough to run after the ball or if I just wanted that extra reach. They used to throw off all the newspaper journalists that came to see and report on like the high school and college teams. They always called me with a, oh no, they also called me a two-handed forehand. Think, not even thinking, maybe I'm a lefty. Silly people. If you were the reporter back then, shame on you. No, I didn't care. It got the attention of other other college and stuff, thinking that, like, why would I play with two-hand or forehand? I must be amazing. Let's change in four, three, two, and one. Bring your arms down to the, point them down. Let's roll our shoulders up. Oh, let's sit up tall first. Elevator is in. Oh. Belly into spine, elongate the spine, elongate the neck, grow like a few, like a half an inch inch. And let's roll our shoulders back. And we're gonna change soon. We are rocking it. We are at, let me squint, nine minutes, you guys. Not bad, huh? I'm definitely feeling more relaxed from my work day. Actually, it didn't bother me. I just felt like it shows that we're all locked in. <laughs> that if somebody sat there for 30 minutes trying to figure out what to put on the top of their cake. Fine by me. 
I'd rather talk than do other things, but that's a lot of stress for a cake that you're gonna eat. Let's change it in four, three, two, one. I want to kick, 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 kick. So as I extend my leg forward, I'm trying not to lock out my knee, mainly though I'm, not, I'm trying not to rock my spine. So kick to the point that you can do it, but that you don't lose your form. Sit up tall. I'm barefoot. I'm feeling like I'm running through the sand or something. That's in my head. Were we allowed to take shoes off during playground time? No. There used to be killer dress codes too. Now I notice kids seem to be able to do flip flops to school. I don't understand. Now I look old, huh? Okay, let's change in four, three, two, and one. Let's bring our legs out to the sides and then back in. Do you remember, uh, are we allowed to call it Chinese jump rope? where two people had the rope around their legs and you had to climb over it and do this patterns. Now I could see my kids being like, we don't call it that anymore. Is it called like nationality jump rope now? It was my favorite. I loved it. Better than double dutch because I always got angry with the people that spun the rope. Let's go a little quicker if you want. Keep your form up. My legs are getting tired, so <laughs> since I have control of this, we're going to change it soon. Let's change in four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Sitting sideways on purpose, a little bit of a diagonal. Whatever side you're on, put a ball in that hand. Grab your ball, reach back, and then throw it forward. So again, I'm purposely allowing some motion backwards and forward, trying to get my stomach rotator muscles going. Somebody's getting a little bit of love handles on their stomach. I am actually through eating through the bakery. Now I just ask people, what does that lemon tart taste like? Tell me about that lime tart. What's that tiramisu cake? Because uh, that's a lot of sugar. My goal, <laughs> my goal was to eat all the bakery. <laughs> but there's a lot of products, so I'm done. As I say that, my kids are making chocolate chip cookies downstairs. Hmm. So let's add a little bit more. Let's put a little bit more strength into this by reaching back, lifting the up first, the front arm and leg and reaching and really throwing. Watch your balance, watch as you don't fall off your seat. Really extend up, forward and backwards. Oh, I think I just threw a strike. We're gonna throw some curveballs soon. How's that sound? Let's get some curveballs going in four, three, two, one sidearm pitch. Now you could say that these are uh, are these slide balls, curve balls. My baseball players out there, tell me if what it is. I just know I never play these, but it's a good workout for your back of your arms, huh? My wings that like to <laughs> to say goodbye longer than I am. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling it. Let's change to the other side in four, three, two, and one. Come to the other side with me. So I'm up to the edge of the diagonal. We're just gonna start leaning back and throwing. So grab the ball and throw. I wanna build up again the rotator muscles. Lift your elevator parts up if they're not. And then we'll get, we'll kind of balance hopefully. Hopefully I can remember. And then we will start throwing harder. And then I'll try to sidearm and you can watch and laugh about that the counter is super close. I should build out my my <laughs> my bathroom vanity by two feet, huh? Can you imagine that project? Can you imagine explaining it to the spouse why I'm doing it? He'd think I was insane. 
Let's get our front leg and our front arm in it. In four, three, two, one. Front arm and throw. 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 Yeah, I don't know why I'm cueing every throw. Just throw it. Oh, I am throwing balls instead of strikes. You have to make a bigger bat batting zone for me. <laughs> this arm's even tired. I'm dying. Dying. Do you have one good arm and one bat or a uh, tired arm today? I'm even just flicking my fingers. I'm so pathetic. Let's go for some uh, curveballs or sidearm pitches in four, three, two, one. Okay, counter, be my friend. Sixteen minutes, you guys. We're doing awesome. Woo! Woo! Let's change in. Four, three, two, one. Oh, thank goodness, huh? Sitting up nice and tall. Let's climb a rope. My kid neighbor said I don't know how to probably, well, he just assumed I could climb a rope up into the tree when we could get close together again. I don't think so. But I probably could climb one here. So I'm gonna just do my arms and my legs. Granted, I look like I am milking a cow. <laughs> I have my legs purposely turn my feet just to kind of pretend that my feet are on that rope. But if it's better for your hips and your knees to go straight, that's perfectly fine. I just have to, if I'm going to exercise, I have to put a lot of play into it and a lot of imagination. Or else, oddly, it's not for me. I'm not one to sit and, and pound the pavement or anything unless there's something fun for me. Like even like if I'm going for a long run, I would oddly make a scavenger run to look for or something. My long competitive running days are over. And so now if I'm out on that trail or something, there better be fun. Fun to me converts to, okay, it converts to food by the end of the run. I admit it. I said it. Oh, watch your posture. Mine's so bad. There we go. Sit up, elevator. Let's change in four, three, two, one. Keeping our legs wide apart. Grab that big ball. Lift it way over your head and smash it on the ground. As you're lifting up, hold your stomach in. Lower it. Make sure that you don't open this area. Keep it tight in there so you're not doing an arch on the back. If you want your, to come up higher, keep your back straight as you just hinge up the hips and lean backwards. As you're coming down, what's your chin doing? Is it jutting out? Is it trying to look at the ceiling? This is a good time to practice with your chin. A lot of people that have neck aches or headaches, it's all based on if their chin is kind of pushed upward the whole day. Going from here, we're going to go at a diagonal in four, three, two, and one, pick up your ball sideways and throw it down. Pick it up and throw it down. I'm pretending that I'm putting the force of like a giant medicine ball. We didn't have those in the playground, but I don't want it to be a super ball where it bounces away and then I have to go chase it. We got this. We're at 19 minutes, you guys. We know we exercise about 25 minutes. And then we start to cool down. I think this weekend we need to go back in the rodeo. Huh, this reminds me of that. Let's change to the other side in four, three, two, and one. Grab the ball, go the other side, and throw it down. This is a good hoedown, huh? Woo! Well, 
What's the butterfly? Do the butterfly. So I, no, that's the chicken dance. I almost chicken danced for you. No. Let's change in. Four, three, two, and one. Ooh. Let's change out our curves for a while. Sit up tall, belly into spine, parts are lifted. Let's arch forward and then round back. Forward and back. I feel like that was a lot of twisting. I'm looking at you surprised like you caused it. I know I caused it, but let's just kind of wind down our bodies. Uh, my heart rate went up a lot from that one. Did yours? Let's uh, kind of slow that down a little. That was way too much exercise, huh? Let's change in four, three, two, one. Oh, did you tell me that you're going to have a tetherball competition with me? I think you did. We're going to play two-handed tetherball. So bring the palms of your hands together and bat it. For those who don't want to play tetherball with me, I don't know why you wouldn't. But if you don't want to play tetherball with me, you can pretend you're swinging a bat. Do you hear the wind blowing? Whoosh! That's how fast I'm doing it. What a good way to get some stomach exercises in. As long as you, you're safe with your rotations, your doctor has cleared you for rotations if you have any kind of an injury or past surgery. And your belly's in your spine, elevator parts are lifted. It's a good way. I know there's a plank challenge going on. Um, I think there's always seems to be a plank challenge and all that. Planks are incredible. But also the rotations while you're not re realizing you're doing it. When I have the ability to go out onto the and play tennis for hours at a time, my stomach muscles were amazing. I don't know if I could ever do that now because I had four babies. <laughs> but I think that, well, now the guilt of doing it for hours would kill me. The, my tennis players, tell me what your stomach muscles look like now. Right in. Let's change it to the other side in four, three, two, and one. Other side. Whoosh! Whoosh! Ooh, this clearly is my better side, huh? Whoosh! How are you doing? Check in with yourself. Watch your chin, pull it back, belly into spine, shoulders away from ears. If you can do it down your back, even better. Did I talk about your elevator? Lift it. These kids are making me want to just keep going, huh? They're very motivating. They never get tired, do they? Let's change soon. Let's go to four, three, two, and one. Sitting up tall, belly away from spine, sit in the, for the front of the chair, and then take the whole back, your whole back, keep it straight and lean back. I'm propping myself up with my hands on my chair, trying to keep this from curving in like a recliner, shoulders away from ears. And I want to pre have my legs far enough apart that I'm on like a big kid's bike when you're a little kid. I just feel like a little bit more leg muscle movement. I'm not really lifting the thigh up. I'm more straightening the knee out. So you shouldn't feel it up in the top of your hips, the front of your hips. Belly into spine though. Chest open. Shoulders are engaged. Shoulder blades down your back. Oh, I'm starting to look like I have been in PE. I'm getting all sweaty and my hair is all flying. Let's change to four, three, two, one. Plant your feet ahead of you. Keep your back where it is. See if you can lift your behind up. Hold, hold, hold. Watch your shoulders, belly and the spine. Lift your parts and back down. Recover and come on back up. Come up when you can. My feet are placed, I'm at a diagonal, so you can't tell. 
My feet are placed hips width distance apart. They're all on diagonal. And back down. So hold as long as you can. Tighten, squeeze your behind. And back down. After this, we're getting really close to stretching this out. And then we're going to call it a good day. So see if you have the ability to hold. You should feel a little strengthening in your behind muscles. And back down. If it's hard on your shoulders, maybe this would be a perfect time to just work on your posture. I have my chin tucked toward my chest to protect my neck last time up and back down. Oh, shake up those arms other. If you're like me, they just fell asleep. Shake, 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 shake. My kids tell me that one of their favorite characters, that's a yellow sponge. Does he run like this or his buddy? See, I watch it now, YouTube. I don't want another red card. Okay, sit up nice and tall. Cross your leg if you're able to, up and over or down. And just sit up tall, feeling a stretch in your behind muscle. For those that are not crossing their legs, you could come down and just do a little bit of a twist. If twisting is allowed in your practice. You'll figure out how you get a little stretch of the behind. You can wiggle your leg around to do that. My, my leg is up here. I'm going to take now my knee over toward that shoulder, stretching out generally the, a little bit different part of the behind. That's more where people talk about the sciatic nerve. I have a few people that have written in to me. This is the stretch that I try to tell you to do. Belly should still be engaged. Parts are still, elevators still lifted. Chin is tucked. Even though we're cooling down, we could have that good posture. Bring that leg down. Oh, I almost fell off my chair. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be a long night if I keep doing this. Uh, grab underneath that thigh that we just had crossed. Flex your foot toward your head and then straighten. Watch your back though. Don't let it be like a recliner and slouch. Set up this nice and tall. Only straighten your knee as far as that you could keep your back nice and tall and long with just that natural little curve. Don't make your back into recliner. And come on back down. We're going to do the other side. Cross it whatever you're comfortable to feel a little stretch in the behind. If you're not feeling well just sitting up, hinge up the hip and lean forward a little bit. We could stare at each other in awkward silence. I really wish there was a two-way conversation. I really want to know about you guys. I do appreciate you tuning in every day. Actually, I'm, I'm so impressed and thrilled that you guys are taking time for yourselves. Uh, depression, I know, is setting in a lot for everybody right now. Boredom, loneliness. We have each other. So always comment. Uh, Write to me if you need anything. I will do what I can. Um, I was getting very depressed before I started recording some workouts for you. So I very much appreciate you guys. Um, I will always keep in mind, I'm gonna continue doing these uh, for the rest of my life and you guys can do them with me. So, <laughs> so that's enough. Let's bring now our knee toward the opposite shoulder so you stretch out a little bit different spot uh, that where that sciatic nerve comes through. Still lift your elevator, belly to spine, shoulders away from your ears, chin is tucked in. I am just like a relaxed, sloshy being now. I'm like an amoeba where I just want to melt onto the ground. I hope you felt like you had a good workout. I hope at least you were entertained. That's probably more important. Good, and let's swing it back down. Let's take our arm now, pick an arm. Let's just kind of cross it over our body like we're kind of adding a support. Pulling with your other hand, your shoulder, your arm bone a little bit away from your shoulder across your body. It shouldn't feel like anything except relaxation in the shoulder joint. 
So don't make it feel like anything. You're not gonna feel, I don't want you pulling hard enough to feel your muscles stretching. I just wanna gap the arm bone from your shoulder, all the bony parts up there. We're gonna just hold it, staring at each other. I get so serious during the stretching part, huh? Relax that side, cross the other one over, take your other hand, pull down a little bit so you open up your shoulder joint. Remember, it shouldn't, you shouldn't feel a hard stretch. It's just nice and gentle. It's funny doing this though, I feel it in my neck. Isn't that weird how our bodies work? Maybe that's the signal from somebody, stretch my neck. So we'll stretch out the neck and then we'll say our good nights. It's good night for me. It might be good morning for you. Good afternoon, huh? I shouldn't be presumptuous. Relaxing, sitting up nice and tall, hands are on my thighs. Belly the spine elevator. Tuck your chin toward your chest and just hold it there. Don't look at me. Close your eyes, I'll cue you. Just allow you to feel a stretch. Relax the weight of your head. Now let's bring our chin lower, curving our spine. Just roll into a little ball. See if you can get your top of your head toward the ground. Protect though your low back and hold it there. We're gonna hold for another four, three, two, and one. Use your hands to help roll you up. Let head and neck is the last thing. Open up, relax. Take a breath in and out, in and out. Again, I want to thank you. Thank you for your commitment to your health. Thank you for committing to me and my health, for cheering me up, for keeping me entertained and amused, and keeping me exercising. You guys, if you have done this every day that I have posted, we are on the major streak. You check in every once in a while, you as well are on a streak. I just think it's great that we're taking time for our own health. So from my open heart to yours, namaste. See you next time.